But what I'm attempting to do is make sea moss gummies. So I bought this sea moss, it came in one box. This is half of it and then this is the other half. And I'm soaking it to get all the salt and debris out. So I saw one YouTube where she had already prepared it. So then I had to figure out, okay, well, how do you prepare it? I didn't know that you had to wash it and all this kind of crap. So that's what this process is with the lemon and the water. Now, I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I've had to look online several times to get a recipe for sea moss gummies, and there isn't really one that's specific. And none of them tell you how to soak this stuff ahead of time. I got this kit for the elderberry syrup on Etsy from this company, Natural Mama. So it comes with the elderberry ingredients and instructions, and it comes with the gummy instructions and this tray. It does not come with the syringe, I already had it. So that's what I'm gonna use to get the liquid in here to cool it. I'm adding the sea moss. So I'm trying to figure out how to prepare it to then be added into my syrup so that I can put it all together. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see uh, my review of sea moss gummies that I bought online. So I'm just trying to make this myself because they're expensive and it only lasts two weeks because there's no preservatives before they go bad. I soaked that sea moss for four hours and I blended it with water. You need a powerful blender. Probably a Vitamix would be best, but this is with uh, a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle of water plus a little extra. So, <clears throat> and this is how thick it gets. And this one half of this expands and this is, you get all of this. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this. I do not need all of this. So I'm gonna have to find some other recipes to use it with. This is eight tablespoons of syrup, one tablespoon of gelatin, one tablespoon of sea moss. 